Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Today we're gonna do an oil, an oil filter change on my Aprilia 1100 V4RR. V4-1100RR. Or one of those numbers put together. But uh, oil of choice is the one recommended by Aprilia itself and is a Castro Power One uh, 540. So we have the oil, we have the filter, now for the chit chat, let's get on it. Changing the oil and the filter on the Aprilia is not any different than any other bike. You just undo the, the plug and you unscrew the oil filter. If you can squeeze your hand in here and you're strong enough, you can undo the oil filter and do an oil change without having to take anything off the bike other than the oil plug. Other than that, it's easy enough as uh, undoing this thing two hours later my oil plug is a little harder to pull out because when i hit the curb the curb squished the aluminum casing against the the drain plug so it's a little harder to pull them out but uh, nevertheless that's it there is a lot of oil in the Aprilia. It's four liters, which is a little bit more than a gallon. So let it drain for a while. At the same time, let's try to remove uh, the oil filter up here. If the oil filter is too hard to remove by hand, I have one of those little thingy over here that should actually help it's hard to see but unfortunately between my hand the tools and my big head you just can't look in there Woo! because i don't like the oil to go everywhere when i remove the oil filter i'm gonna use this thing to put in there and try to route the oil just in the oil pan over here rather than all over the bike. No, it's just spreading all over the place anyway. Oil filter out. Now I'm gonna let it drain. I'll catch you guys in a minute. The oil drained completely, so it's now time to put the filter back on. This time around, I'm gonna go with a K&N uh, filter. And uh, as always, remember to put a bit of fresh oil on the gasket so that the gasket slides on the engine rather than create friction and you can tie it pretty good. Not much. Put it in. Wait until it grabs and then spin it in. Not too hard because eventually you're gonna have to remove it. At the same time, not to lose either. Now, I cannot stress this enough. The manual says 30 Nm for the drain plug. If you're doing an oil change and there is oil on the, on the thread, that 30 Nm goes out the window because the oil will reduce the friction on the thread Therefore, 30 Nm is going to be way too much torque. Put it in lightly, maybe 20 Nm. Take a look if it leaks. Then you add two or three more Nm. Wait if it leaks and go on from there. But 30 Nm when the thread has oil in it, go out the window. You put it at 30 Nm. If you're one of those unlucky people, you're going to crack the oil pan. Use the OEM. Aprilia crash washer. Very, very important. And I'll show you why. This is an Aprilia drain plug. If you guys look at the base of the flat part over here, 
there is a recess. If you look inside, there is a specific diameter for the inside of the oil pan. The OEM crush washer is made so that when you torque it to the proper specs, some of the crush washer will go inside this groove over here and the outside of the crush washer will form around the edge inside the hole. If you have a genetic crush washer that is a fraction of a millimeter too big or too small, it will not seal properly. So spend those two dollars. I just bought five or six of them, don't even remember. So buy a bunch if you're planning to do your own uh, oil change and use that. If you use a too big of a crush washer, the crush washer is gonna get stuck inside. If you use a too small of a crush washer, it's not gonna seal properly. OEM crush washer every single time. And hopefully I just save you an oil pan. But at this point, the last thing left to do is to add uh, fresh oil to it. So I'm gonna get my Castro 540, which is what Aprilia recommends for this bike. And I'm gonna put about four liters in it. That's what Aprilia wants. This is a quart. This is 50 milliliters short of a liter. So in theory, I should put four of those and some. To begin, I'm gonna put four of those, I'm gonna run it up and then check the dipstick. When you check the oil, another thing that Aprilia wants you to do, do not put the bike on stand. The bike needs to be on flat ground, needs to be with the weight of the bike on the suspensions, and needs to be straight up. So not on the side stand, but straight up. Pull this out, clean it, straighten the bike up, put this back in, check it, and then add if you need to. So we are done for today. Fresh oil, new filter, and no leaks. That's uh, the recipe for a good day. The, it's a very simple job, anybody can do it. There is no reason to go spend $250 at the dealer to have this done. Really the only thing you need to pay attention to is how you torque the, the drain plug. That is paramount, but I gave you all the instructions. I told you anything I could find, scouring the forums, looking at manuals and, and searching the internet left and right. So now you have all the information, do it yourself. If you found any value on what I've done today, maybe you wanna go check out my Patreon page and become one of the Patreon for tons and tons of perks. On top of that, get yourself one of those fantastic headlight shirt, link in the description. And for everything I used in this video, oil, oil filter, part number for the crush washer, check the description down below, full of informations. And uh, if you like the video, like, if you love the video, subscribe, work on your bike, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome. Today, we're going to an oil filter change on the Aprilia. I wonder who the hay hole, the tidiest thing is. Oh yeah, it was me.